Hello guys, today we're going to talk about ITP and TTP, two diseases that sound very similar but are actually very different. So TTP is a thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. So TTP is an emergency. It's an emergency. So it's caused by a deficiency in Adam's TS13 cleaving protein. And if y'all remember, that's the protein that cleaves the von Willebrand factor. If you don't have that uh, protein, the von Willebrand factor, they're super large and they tend to um, make the platelets clump more. So they, um, the platelets clump together and it causes, you know, uh, thrombotic events that lead to the microangiopathic changes that we see with this disease. So your patient will present very sick, very, very sick. Um, they have something uh, called the pen tab, which can help us remember. 100% um, of the patients will have anemia, 100% of them will have thrombocytopenia, some will develop um, neurological changes due to stroke, um, they can have uh, fever and they can have um, type organ damage such as um, the most common one is uh, renal involvement. So again your patient will be super sick, um, you want to make sure that um, you uh, order tests such as um, lupus, make sure that a patient, if they have any type of rheum rheumatological symptoms, HIV, CMV, um, to see if that maybe there's some type of molecular mimicry that's causing for this acquired TTP, um, pregnancy, uh, creatinine, and liver enzymes to see um, how your um, liver is doing. So two ways that you can get this, one is acquired through a genetic um, passing down. So you want to make sure you get the history to make sure if this is something that's ever happened in this patient's uh, family history. And you want to make sure that um, you uh, also uh, think about acquired type of causes of it. So acquired, a patient can acquire this due to, uh, again, molecular mimicry and through um, certain drugs, which I'm not really going to talk about the drugs that can cause this. Um, so you want to make sure that you order, you know, CMC, blood smear, CMP, um, and on your labs, you will see severe, severe thrombocytopenia. Um, so it's, we're talking about 10 to the 30 um, times 10 to the uh, ninth power, and patient will have schistocytes. So because the microthrombi um, events you will have shearing of the red blood cells. When the red blood cells shear and lice, they will, um, you know, you will have increased bilirubin, you will have decreased haptoglobulin, you will have um, increased LDH, and um, a patient will, you know, they'll tell you maybe they'll be uh, jaundice or they'll be, uh, they'll have tea colored um, urine. So, you can order a Coombs test, but the Coombs test will be negative because it's not um, antibodies that are lysing the red blood cells. Um, it's the microangiopathic changes. Um, and you want to order an Adams TS13 um, to see the activity of that cleaving protein. And usually it will be less than 10%. Your INR, PTT, fibrinogen will all be normal. Um, and so. Before you even get your Adams TS13 results back, you want to make sure that you start therapy right away. So you want to give them high dose steroids with plasma exchange. So plasma exchange right away with, within the four to eight hours and give them um, high dose steroids. We're talking about um, methylprednisolone one uh, gram for three days. You can give them rituximab, and because of the mechanism of this problem, you do not want to give a patient a, a platelet transfusion because that's what, without the Adams TS13, that's what caused the problem of uh, the thrombi. So you do not want to give a platelet transfusion for this. Um, the epidemiology of this is um, it's most common in women and it's most common in um, uh, black women. So ITP. So ITP uh, in med school, if um, you guys were taught the name of idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, 
throw that out the window because they're not really using that. They're now calling it immune thrombocytopenia because now they know more and they know that it's immunologically cost. Um, and it doesn't really cost purpura much. It mostly causes petechia. So the patient will have antibodies mediated against the platelets. That's the disease mechanism. Uh, men have a similar rate to women as far as epidemiology goes, but women between the you know 30 to 60 when they're fertile, they have um, an increased um, incidence of this. Um, and so uh, you want to make sure that you check for rheumatological diseases, lupus. Um, and also you want to check for antiphospholipids, HIV, um, CMV, TB, varicella, and one important thing you want to check for is H. pylori because in 2009 a study, a Japanese study was saying that um, they found a correlation and there's been other studies that have also found a correlation between um, H. pylori and ITP. So make sure that you um, check for that and treat accordingly. So on laboratory exams, you won't see any schistocytes, unlike TTP, because there is no uh, microangiopathic um, problems that cause the shearing of the red blood cells. So you won't have any schistocytes on your blood smear, so you don't necessarily have to order that. Um, your uh, because you have no um, schistocytes and no hemolysis, the you know, your LDH, your bilirubin, your haptoglobin will be within normal limits. Um, you want to check for H. pylori, um, pregnancy, and instead of checking for auto um, platelet antibodies, um, they actually haven't found that to be very useful. So just check for quantitative IgG levels. Um, and um, you will have, of course, you will have um, thrombocytopenia, but unlike TTP, you won't be as thrombocytopenic. So we're talking about a lot of times greater than 100 times 10 to the 9th power. Um, the way that you want to treat this is um, you want to treat symptomatically, of course. Um, you can give uh, IVIG plus uh, a high dose of steroids. And you uh, only want to transfuse with platelets if they have like numbers close to what TTP uh, patients will present with, less than um, 30 times 10 to the 9th. So those are the main differences. And one uh, quirky kind of thing that helped me remember in med school was um, TTP, it starts with a T, so the patient will be super sick, they'll be intubated, whereas ITP, the patient won't be as sick and the, it starts with an I, so the patient will be like, I'm bruising, and so, um, that's a good way to kind of remember the two things, but TTP, medical emergency, get that plasma exchange as soon as possible.